Ah, it's my happy day. You know why? Because it's Big Block Chevy Day, and specifically, 598 cubic inches of Big Block Chevy Day. What we got going on here is a blueprint engine short block that you can buy complete, and it is awesome because you can put together a package just like this one. And that means we've got a Dart Pro One aluminum head on it with a 365cc intake runner. We have a crane, solid roller camshaft, not that big. The specs are 276 degrees at 50 on the intake, 282 on the exhaust, and this thing has about 10 and 3 quarter to 1 compression. It makes about 850 horsepower on 91 octane pump gas. So this is the type of combination that Brule has been seeing come across the dyno a bunch these days. But the question everybody has is what is the best single four barrel intake for huge power? And that is what we're going to find out today. The first thing that we're going to do is run it with the dart single plane that is sort of matched to these cylinder heads. And then we're going to do a ruthless head-to-head -head shootout between Dart, Edelbrock, Profiler, and Brodix. So we're going to roll this thing and hook it up on the dyno. I'm going to have Brule talk to you about some of the instrumentation that we're going to do here so that we can narrow in on the reasons why each manifold is best. So let's get that going, man. We're going to make some power today. Two of the things that we really want to pay attention to during our intake manifold test is airflow, which we're measuring with the air hat, and cylinder to cylinder distribution. We have the dyno outfitted with individual O2 meters, one for every cylinder. So between airflow and cylinder to cylinder distribution, we're going to be able to kind of better analyze the power potential of the intake. Ultimately, it's going to be torque and horsepower, but this is going to help us know why. All right, here we go for the test that Brule made me do. He's been dying for this one. He just wanted to know. Yeah, he, he had to know. I need more big block info. I know. Well, I want to know too. This is a question that gets asked a lot more than you might see. I mean, phone calls and guys in here with big blocks. It's, it's you know, it's a question that's asked a lot. Which is literally, what's the best out of the box single four barrel intake for my 565, 582, yeah. 598? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna find out. Starting out with the dart, right? You have it yep. all tuned up? Yep. Well, I think I do. Uh, we'll find <laughs> we'll out. We'll find out. Everything will go wrong now. Here's our final numbers on our Dart single plane intake. Uh, peak numbers, 833.7 horsepower, 6,300 RPM. The torque, 765.2 pound-feet at 5,300. The average horsepower is 777.5, and the average torque, 732.9. And we won't really know what any of that means until we get another one of these manifolds Something on to here. Compare it to. But let's look at the air-fuel ratio, cylinder to cylinder. Well, well you mean, can definitely it goes from see 10, your five to fourteen five to spread. It's uh, a lot. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Huh? That's a real eye opener, though. How <laughs> different it is. Yeah. yeah, fourteen to one in middle cylinders, ten to one on one of the outer cylinders. Yeah. Oh, ultimately, in a perfect world, what we're trying to do is tune eight one-cylinder engines. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, whether it's with fuel or whether it's with cam timing. You know, a lot of late model stuff's got variable cam timing, and they're doing that with runner links and cam timing. With, with these types of engines, you know, you can only do so much with them, but that's ideally what you're trying to do is get the most out of every cylinder in the engine. It also shows me how many years we've gotten away with what we didn't know. Well, see, the more equipment <laughs> no. you buy and, and the more information you have, the scarier it gets. Yeah. Okay, moving on, next manifold. So there's our baseline, pretty stout, especially when you consider that we did it with this manifold, the Dart, which is arguably the least aggressive intake manifold that we've got here. Why do I say that? Well, you can see that it's got the lowest carburetor flange. That means it's got the least plenum volume, and it's just designed for maybe a 540 or a 565 big block, maybe not the full Monte 598, but the rest of these intakes are full race. Make no bones about it. So here's what we got. A Profiler Sniper intake manifold, an Edelbrock Super Victor II, and the Brodix, which doesn't have a catchy name. It's just a Brodix, but it does have a turtle cast in, which is cool. We'll get to that.